Okay, welcome to IT145 Challenge Activity 2.2.2 in the Zybooks Challenges. And in this challenge, they're asking us to assign to max sum the maximum of num A, num B, plus the max of num Y, num Z, using just one statement and using the find max. So in order to do that, what we will do is use this max sum. That's what they want us to assign this to. So we're going to say max sum equals, and they want us to use this find max. So we'll use that. We'll put that here. And what we're going to call is the num a and num b so let's just copy that and put that right there now remember you have to separate those with a comma so that comma is already there and we're going to concatenate and basically we're just going to use this twice except we're going to change the uh, variables for the parameters to num y and z. So we'll just swap those out. And we'll put z, put our semicolon, and there you have it. That's the single statement finding the max num for those. So let's run that, test it, make sure it's working. internet moving really slow but finally okay so all tests pass and that's it so we use the we uh, use the max sum to assign these maximum numbers of num a num b num y and num z in a single statement using this fine max so i'm going to pause and start back up on the next uh, challenge which will be the uh, let's see here 2.23 Okay, for this uh, challenge activity 2.2.3, method definition, volume of a pyramid, define a method, pyramid volume, with double parameters, base length, base width, and pyramid height, that returns as a double, the volume of a pyramid with a rectangular base, relevant geometry equations, and those are your equations. So I started out here, so let's just uh, finish this. So we are creating this method and it is going to be called the pyramid volume method. So let's copy that. And the parameters that we're passing through, they want us to pass through the the, uh, let's see here, base length, the base width, and pyramid height. So uh, they also want us to set those as doubles. So let's go ahead and copy that, put it in here, and just say double base length. So let's get the first parameter they're asking for, put that down here. Okay, you separate each parameter with a comma, so we want to use double again. And we want the base width, so we'll highlight that. And double again. And finally, the pyramid height. Okay, and then we're going to close the parentheses there. And 
put our curly bra curly braces so let's put the curly braces there okay and then now we want to want to make sure that both volume and base area are double as you can see they're making sure they want us to make sure it returns as a double so let's make sure we make sure that it's a double and then we put our formulas there so base area equals base length times base width and volume equals base area times pyramid height times one third and we want to return volume okay so let's run it make sure it's okay okay failed to compile and I see what I did I missed the curly brace so you always gotta make sure you have your curly braces there so let me add my curly brace and run that again okay so with the curly brace there it passed and there you go that's it for this uh, section two yep that's it for this section two and uh, let me get this one posted and start working on the next video thank you for watching and as always please subscribe thank you